Chairperson uh, of the IPSA Youth uh, Summit, Honorable uh, Ministers of uh, India and Brazil, young people from India, Brazil and South Africa, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. At the outset, let me thank the government of India, especially Minister Anurag Thakur, Minister of Information and Broadcasting, and the Youth Affairs and Sports for hosting the first IPSA Youth Dialogue. It would have been wonderful to be able to, to have the inaugural session in your beautiful country, my second home, India. However, circumstances do not favor, hence we are only able to meet virtually due to global COVID pandemic. This inaugural IPSA Youth Dialogue is taking place in a very unprecedented time as the whole world has been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. This pandemic has affected and continue to have negative impact on the lives and livelihoods of millions of our people within Ipsa. Let us continue to comfort those who have lost their loved ones and support those who are trying to rebuild their lives, especially the young people. The youth of our respective countries are amongst the hardest hit due to the pandemic in various aspects of their lives. The psycho socio economic impact of this pandemic continue to be felt. Despite all the challenges, our young people remain positive and are willing to raise their voices to be part of the solutions. Program Director, South Africa is committed to implement policies to improve the lives and conditions of our youth. To this end, our government has approved the National Youth uh, Policy for the period 2020 to 2030, which is a blueprint for the achievement of development of our young people. The policy is a commitment by all to ensure development of our youth. It will guide the key players uh, in the youth development space on the key interventions uh, to be prioritized, namely uh, quality education, skills and second chances, economic transformation, entrepreneurship and job creation, physical and mental health promotion, social cohesion and nation building, and lastly, effective and responsive youth development machinery. Of importance is that the youth uh, policy addresses the cha uh, challenges faced by South African youth through creation of an enabling environment in which young people not only realize their full potential but also discharge their responsibilities in making meaningful contributions towards building a better life for all. We are in the process of developing the monitoring and evaluation framework to track implementation of the policy. Our National Youth Development Agency is also developing an integrated youth development strategy to give effect to implementation of the policy. The integrated strategy also advocates for acceleration of youth development. 
Our new world must be led by our young women and men. We must afford our youth the opportunity to champion the rebuilding of our economies in ways that reflect collective efforts. We must use their innovation, skills and energy to seek answers on how to deal with this pandemic as well as how to propel our economies during and post-COVID-19 pandemic. Through IPSA, we also commit to in, uh, inclusive sustainable development in pursuit of well-being of our people. We have to maintain our role as leaders on our path to more balanced, representative and equitable international order. This is critical as we continue to navigate through the new normal. We are certain that our collective efforts will yield results that we have long lasting impact uh, on the lives of our people. It is therefore important that the outcomes of this inaugural youth dialogue are implemented to ensure that the youth of our nations are empowered to create a better world for themselves and the generations to come. This will require uh, follow-up mechanisms to be in place. Uh, in this case, I would like to propose that we consider establishing uh, the IPSA Youth Secretariat. The Secretariat would coordinate, monitor implementation of the IPSA Youth Dialogue Resolutions and ensure reporting. The operationalization efficiency of the Secretariat will determine the extent to which this youth is making a dent in improving the lives of our youth for the better as there will be accountability for decision taken. Let us work together to ensure the success of IPSA Youth Forum. I thank you.